So this is my first roommate when I moved and lived in London in 1999. This is Chris, how you Hello. doing? Hello, Miracle. Hello, wherever you, wherever you are. <laughs> and that right there was my room on the top floor from 1999 until about 2002. 2003. And was I a good roommate, Chris? You were a loud roommate. That's, that's all I can. <laughs> what are you? Yeah. What are you talking about? Just it, it just sort of turned a bit into party central after, after, after James moved in, but in a good way, you know. But we didn't get much sleep this weekend. I was a 23 year old from Australia exactly. who just arrived in London. I wanted to have a good time, and yeah. that was my top, my place on the top floor. And you were like on the the second I was, I was floor, right? I was around there, yeah. And how many people did we have living in there at the time? Um, well, without guests, it, it, it was just it was about five, but then it, with all your friends, it was still about <laughs> ten. So, it was about <laughs> various friends. You're making it. You're trying to paint a picture here, Chris, that, that I was like had people coming and staying with me all the time. <laughs> I remember my mum and dad stayed with us. Yes. At one stage. <laughs> <laughs> the Brits are the British people who live here. They're not used to like traveling no, overseas. And people just turning up. <laughs> so there was a whole, the whole families turning up. You know, yeah. A, a James, James' family turning up in droves. And then his brother moved in. Yeah, my brother yeah, yeah, Tristan, Tristan moved in as well. Yeah. So that was like 17 years ago, if you can believe yeah. it, Chris. What do you reckon has changed in you know 17 years? Like I was 23, I'm now 40 as we record this. Yeah. You must have been. What What are you now? You're mid 40s or late yeah, 40s? Yeah, mid 40s. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's changed in what way in the street? I don't know, like life or Putney or whatever. Well, England is still rubbish at soccer. You know that. <laughs> that, that was always our running joke. Yeah. Um, Putney's still pretty much the same. It's quite a nice affluent area of of, um, of yep. London. Yeah. But the flat's still the same. Yep. And where have you lived since then, since you moved out? Since then, uh, funny enough, I lived in another flat in Putney, and then I've lived in uh, Streatham and Brixton. That's in uh, South London, isn't South it? London, yeah, it's all yeah. South London, yeah. Uh, and Brighton as yep. well. Yep. So I've moved around a bit. Oh, yeah. Brighton, you live in Brighton. Brighton. Brighton's another city outside yeah. of London, it's like south, yeah. isn't it? What was that uh, like? Wicked, really, really good, really good. But I miss London, really miss London. So you moved back? I moved and where, back. To where London. are you now? I am, funny enough, back in Putney. Oh, you're back in Putney? For a very short time. So there yeah. you go. You always find so your way full home. Circle, yeah. full, full circle, full yeah. Full circle, yeah. Which is true. So I've gone, what did I do? I went from uh, from here in living in that, that top room. Mm. I always loved being in the top room as well because I could sleep in. Everyone else on the second and first floor would do all their do stuff. Also, yeah, but yeah. I was on the top floor. James, I James had the penthouse suite. That's right, so, I did. Yeah. Uh, what did I do? I moved to Los Angeles. I lived yeah. in Los Angeles. And then I moved to New York. I lived in New York. And then I went to Buenos Aires, Argentina, and then Medellin and Bogota, Colombia, and now I'm back in Los Angeles. So it sounds like, sounds like we moved around the same yeah. number of times. Yeah. Oh, I also went to Australia as well after. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for, How for, long for, we... uh, for about six months. Six yeah. months, yeah. All over Australia, yeah. So do you, does it, does traveling away and like, you know, did that give you a good mindset to go, oh, now I know I really want to be back in Putney in London? Like, did, or was it just more um, of like a natural thing? You didn't think about it that much? It was, I think it was more of a natural thing, and now, I'm, now I want to do more of it. But I think you always kind of come home in the end eventually. I'm sure you'll end up back in Australia one day. Maybe. Maybe. According to my mother, I yeah. should. I will. <laughs> she always wants Maybe me. One day. Let's walk back here. So I'll say goodbye to my place there. But uh, yeah, do, do you ever get, uh, what's the word, nostalgic? Or do you ever think about, you know, go and visit a place where you used to live and think about what's happened between then and now I mean I I was 23 when I moved in there and I'm now 40 and my my life is completely different and I must say that just being here you know it makes me feel a little bit nostalgic sentimental mm. almost do you ever feel that or are you like ah whatever no, all the time I'll, I'll get very nostalgic all do the you? time yeah absolutely yeah you want to come out here sometimes pretty rare yeah but I do come yeah. last maybe once a year yeah but it was good times it was good times yeah and, now, and it's great that you and I are meeting up now 17 there years later go. I mean we meet, we've met up a couple times in between but look we're still friends we still exactly we still follow the same football team Tottenham Hotspur same English soccer exactly. team <laughs> so we can England's commit. third best football team <laughs> that's right say, after Arsenal and Leicester City yeah. yeah yeah so do you watching have you ever gone back to your, a childhood home or a home where you used to live just for sentimental reasons or nostalgia leave a comment down below uh, and let me know I respond to every single comment so tell me where you went and where you lived and whether you're a sentimental fool like me uh, and I will respond down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks, Chris. No worries. See David. ya. How do you get smarter in minutes? Well, you do it by walking and then thinking, walking and thinking. So studies have shown that exercise